I mean, what's it's got some really, really cool features on it, especially when it comes to power, power quality, capacitor testing, and beyond just regular cap, you know, like a regular cap test on a meter, we're doing capacitance under a load, which is really um, the way to do it. And then power factor, a lot of guys don't understand what power factor is, but basically it's your power factor needs to be one. If your power factor is always one volts times amps would equal watts, right? Power factor is just basically determining if you're capacitive or inductive, and then, you know, how much of a correction you need to get that power factor back to one. So when you're using um, the redfish meter and you put it on watts, which is where I'd use the meter 99% of the time because it, it's got a triple display. It displays watts, uh, volts, and amps all at the same time. Then also you can, you can flip over to a power factor on there. But if your power factor is less than one, that's where you use a cap to correct it. And that's what manufacturers do. So when you, when you get like a, a 35 by 5 microfarad cap, that's, that's the cap required to get the power factor back to one. Then if you have power factor less than one, you're just, you're just wasting electricity. It's basically you're generating heat energy. The load's either inductive or capacitive, and it just generates heat. So that's like a, a transformer is a inductive load. And when they're just sitting there idling, they get hot. You know, you put your hand on a transformer, you feel it's warm, and that's because it's not really efficient. It's a, it's just a highly inductive load. The inductance generates heat. Well, that brings up a good question that's been going around for years. And I know there's some questions in the chat. We'll get to those in just a second. But guys that are replacing run capacitors, simplest job ever, correct? You come back and there's a 35.5, but you only have a 40 slash 5 or a 30 slash 5. You know, most people just let that go. How much of a factor is that since you say they're correcting the power factor back to one? Uh, it, is that going to cause an issue? Yes, it will. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's going to cause an issue. Go in either direction. You're either going to make that circuit capacitive or inductive. And you're going to have a large amount of waste energy there. So you don't want to do that if at all possible. I mean, it, it'll run still, but you can actually hear their sound difference. If you ever put the wrong size capacitor on a motor, you can actually tell when it's got the wrong cap on there because it gets sort of a rumbling sound to it that you don't normally hear when it's running, you know, with the right cap. Interesting. Okay. Well, that solves that or answers that question. It's been going around for a long time. Zach, you should be within 10% of the cap rating, right? Okay. 10%. Another thing, when you're testing a piece of equipment and you're testing capacitance, typically you want your capacitance to be within 10%. Capacitors, you'll see, you'll see them rated at 10%, 6%, or 5%. And that just means it's a tire, tighter tolerance cap, and it means it's going to be closer to the right capacitance. It's going to be matched to that motor, right? But as long as the capacitor is within 10% of its rating, you typically be at, you know, between a, a 0 0.98, 0 0.99, and 1 on the power factor. So it's just when you get outside of that 10% band, it really starts to cause some issues on there. And you got to remember, too, when you're testing caps and you're going, well, it's, you know, 3, 5, 10%, there's also uncertainty in the meter, right? Because you're making a a voltage measurement that's got some uncertainty. You're making an amperage measurement that's got some uncertainty. The combined uncertainty, it's going to be uh, not a lot, but it's going to be a little bit. So, you know, if you're on a threshold, let's say of 6% and you're at, you know, 6.2% or 6.8% 6 or 7%, doesn't necessarily mean you got to throw that cap away. It may be within its manufactured spec that the meter, you got limitations, you know, and if, especially the, the lower the microfarad, the cap, it seems to me the, the harder it is to get an accurate reading on them because you just have a little less tolerance, you know, to, right. to work with versus like, a, let's say, a 45 versus a three, right? Yeah. So Yeah, that's right. And the lower they get, the the more air you'll have than if you had to replace it with something that's not the same because you have a five, replace it with a seven and a half, all of a sudden you got something oh, 50 yeah, larger. Yeah, that's a huge difference, You're right? Versus, yep, exactly. If you would like to support HVAC Shop Talk, please go to subscribestar.com forward slash Zach hyphen Ciota.